My name is Rui Lu, a director of Cochlear Formulation Development in Martinez by Pharma Holding Company. I have been worked on the cochlear for 20 years. I'm Bachelor of Science, graduated from Shanghai Second Medical School. I'm Rafael Menino. I am uh, currently the Chief Scientific Officer uh, at Martinez Biopharma, but I went to Matinas after retiring from Rutgers University, the New Jersey Medical School. The cochleates are made from natural components. It's a soybean uh, lipid called phosphatidylserine and calcium. And that's what the basis of this patent that Ru Ying and I are the inventors on. And so the work that Ru Ying and I have done showing that we could use this soybean material, which is a natural product with calcium, which is a natural product, uh, very available, and it's actually on the market. Soybean phosphatidylserine is sold in health food stores as a nutraceutical. So what we have done is figured out a way of using this natural soy material, which is much less expensive than the synthetic, so now scale up and commercialization is po possible, and use that to make products that we can move forward into the clinic and eventually into the market. Making the cochlids using the soy EPS and the uh, the cochlids can be used orally and uh, stable at room temperature and uh, less side effects. What we do is we put the drug into a particle that the cell picks up, because that's what their job is. If there's danger, they got to go around and pick up anything that's foreign and try to destroy it. So they pick up the cochlear and then they go to the site of the infection and the inflammation. And once they pick up the cochlear, it begins to open. The ability to take a drug and put it into a cochlear and have that cochlear now get taken up into the infected cell provides us with this Trojan horse delivery type mechanism. The result of that is very low blood level, which is why we have low toxicity, and very high delivery to the site of infection, which is why we have strong efficacy. And that is very unique to cochlears. I'm very honored to have received this award and uh, very happy and uh, proud of to achieve this, receive this award. Since uh, Thompson Edison was uh, energetic uh, and uh, highly productive, who created uh, many inventions that changed the world. So hopefully Cochlitz will be changing the world too. It's a great honor to, to even be mentioned in the same general concept as, as Thomas Edison. He was a person who, you know, went where no one had gone before in his vision and, and made things that changed the world. And there are very few people that even have the opportunity to try that. And to be recognized for the work that we've done at this point is a great honor.